Girl, it's time to tackle this bathroom sink. This is underneath it. Oh my gosh, it's, we're gonna take it from this to this. <laughs> Let's do it. I can't wait to get into it with you. Problems in your life and you need advice. All you gotta do is ask Chantel. Hi guys. Hi guys. My name is Chantel from AskChantel.com. And these are my two girls. What's your name? Nina. And what's your name? I'm a Christian mom and wife and a relationship life and business coach and I'm here to inspire women to have healthy lives, healthy families, and meaningful businesses and brands. Welcome to our channel and we hope that you love the video. Hello my beautiful jewels and gems and welcome back to this edition of Ask Chantel. So I'm really excited today to continue this decluttering series with you guys that we started a couple of weeks ago. and. If you haven't seen the other videos, I'll definitely put them in the link in the description box below. We've been talking a lot about calming your space, and this is something that's new and exciting uh, for me to share with you. I do this pretty often, um, done it over the years, but this is my first time sharing the process with you guys. So a little bit of background here, uh, what you guys see. I've already gone through my products and gotten rid of a lot of the things that we don't use anymore since we moved to a new space. I did that before we moved and I did discard a lot of things and kind of used a lot of things up that I had in the drawers. And I think that that is so good to start with, like actually getting rid of things that you don't use, you don't plan to use, and then using up some items that, you know, you can go ahead and get rid of and you don't have to be trying to find storage for it. But we're past that at this point. I just have stuff in a way that I can't find it. It's just kind of, I kind of have some, there's some rhymes to my reason, but you wouldn't know what it is. So we just took everything out and I actually went to Target and I got these organization uh, little racks here. And I like them because they sit side by side. I could have used one. I could have bought even a couple more and they would have fit on either side because this is like a three cabinet, uh, under sink cabinet storage. But all I needed was a couple. And I actually also use these in my pantry, which I'm going to be sharing with you guys soon. So. I'll place this product or a similar product in the description box below so you guys can check it out. And they were very reasonable, only six bucks for this product. And kind of what I saw is that I have a lot of longitudinal space here that I could utilize much better and be able to find things and have it in an organized way. And when I go under the sink, I'm not overwhelmed and just kind of feeling like, oh no, like again, I got to try to find things in here. So I, I kind of put things in rows according to what they were and I put them in a way where the things at the front were things that we use very often and the things towards the back are things that we may not use as often but since it was kind of categorized by what type of item it was almost like I'm shopping in my own <laughs> in my own house on my own shelf uh, I could actually find it so that first row that you guys see is all the different shampoos that I have and then there's nail products and then I kind of got into like more hairsprays and uh, things for the face and I kind of just went down the line that way and then you can see that we had like the, some of the bigger medicine that I couldn't fit in the medicine cabinet and then I found like some random really good conditioner that I had just a bit if you guys know if you're natural <laughs> you try to keep all those products until they are completely gone I think I got like a teaspoon left of that uh, product down there at the bottom it's a conditioner and it's amazing like I love it it's cholesterol like very thick conditioners so when I'm doing like my uh, deep conditioning anyway uh, I just lined everything up at the top first and then whatever couldn't fit at the top or that was a little shorter I put on the bottom because there is less space underneath the rack than there was on the top of it and I was so excited I found these rollers I was like oh my gosh I knew I had a bag of rollers somewhere that I had kind of put aside because I have so many different types of rollers you guys um, but I, I knew I had these and I was like where are they there they were under the sink and I even have my shower caps down here kind of hidden away, kind of put it to the right because I use those pretty much every day. And it was really annoying not to be able to find them. So I still have a lot of stuff down here for this space, but if you have a small space like me and you want to be able to find your products and you still use these products, uh, this is just a much better way to use the exact same space, look and feel more organized. And if you haven't started decluttering your space, you need to start doing it, okay? Uh, it's really gonna help you 
to calm your space, calm your mind, and go from something crazy like this that's just taking up too much middle space to something much more reasonable, easy to find for you and everybody else. My husband is loving this process that I'm going through, and I think that you will too if you go ahead and jump in. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for the support. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so much, and we'll see you on the next one. Hugs and kisses.